So the first look that we're going for today is a very natural look. I'm going to start with using the Becca Mattifying Primer. You literally just need to use around the size of a pea for the whole face. And you can use uh, an everyday moisturiser before you apply this, but I tend to find that um, it does work better on a nice, freshly cleansed face. Mm -hmm. When you apply, you just start from the centre of the face and you just work wow. it out over the cheekbones. Try to stay sort of within your T-zone. The next product I'm going to use is our Luminous Skin Colour which is a lightweight tinted moisturiser. It gives minimal coverage, but it evens out the skin tone. Just one to one and a half pumps is all you need, really. You can actually just apply it with your fingertips as well, because the product responds really, really well to, uh, to heat. The shade that I'm using today is Olive. And we're just applying it along the T-zone, up over the forehead. You don't really need to apply it over the whole face. You can just sort of take it from the centre and work it out. You can even apply it right up to under the eyes. The next product I'm going to, to go into is our foundation stick. It gives medium to full coverage. You can apply it with a foundation brush if you want to achieve a really full-on evening, flawless look. You can also just uh, apply it with your fingertips as well, wherever you just need that little bit of coverage. The colour that I'm going to use is cashew. So we've applied some of the stick foundation to the brush and the same principle, you just start from the centre and work it out. Once you apply with the brush, you can actually pat the rest in with your fingertips if you want to, but you literally don't need that much. A little goes a long way. Let me just take it around the T-zone area and just patting it around the eye area as well. We do 34 different shades of concealer. Once again, you can fall between two different shades, and today I'm gonna to use Latte. They're a cream to powder finish, so once they're blended in, you don't really need to powder over the top. Okay, they're not a fluid. You can actually still use the foundation brush as a concealer brush as well, and it's torpedo shaped, so it gives you a really good contour for the inside of the eye. And we're just applying a small amount right to the inside of the eye here, just the inner part. A good tip with concealer is that if you can apply it the closer to the inside, uh, rather than applying it right the way underneath, you're less likely to have that build-up of, of concealer because it's easily done, you know, that you can just apply far too much and it can be a little bit of a nightmare, so... If you find that uh, you, you have a slightly more mature skin, uh, you have fine lines or deep-set lines or you have uh, open pores or anything like that, that sometimes when using uh, concealer it can be quite visible, we do do an amazing product which is our Line and Pore Correcting Cream. It's very lightweight, literally need the smallest amount. You can actually use this before you put your makeup on, like a primer, but I suggest one of the tips is to really use it over the top of concealer if you want to really smooth your lines out uh, uh, or as a finishing cream after your makeup. But I'm just going to demonstrate now just by pop popping a small amount onto your fingertip and just gently pushing it in. Don't rub it in, but you just blend it over the top just by patting it. It's one of our best sellers, it's one of our top sellers, it's amazing. The next product I'm going to use on Dorota is our uh, fine pressed powders. We do fine pressed and fine loose, but today I'm going to choose to use a finely pressed powder. I'm going to go for the colour Sesame. Now with our powders, we do two types which are translucent, but they have a slightly different tone to them. Uh, eggshell is slightly yellow and Bisque is slightly pink. So, you know, if you're more of a peach tone, you would go for bisque. If you're more of a yellow tone skin, you'd go for eggshell. It doesn't matter how much you put on, it will never give too much of a cakey finish or, or too much of a matte look. Just setting the makeup, taking away some of the sheen on the skin, and if she's feeling a little bit hot, you know. As you can see on Dorota's skin, she still looks really sort of luminous. I'm then going to use on Dorota our brand new mineral bronzer, Duende. The fact that it's mineral means that it just glides on, it doesn't look like a powder at all, it's extremely fine. When applying a bronzer, a good tip is to, for you to get the, the most natural look, is to sort of just take it on the outer side of the face. If you can imagine an inverted number three, that's always a really good tip. It just hits the right areas, so around the top of the face, around onto the cheekbone, around just onto the jawline. 
This is such a, an easy bronzer to use. It's such a great color that you can actually just take it under the cheekbone as well, under the jawbone there. Just blend it around. I'm then just going to take a little bit of our watermelon beach tint. It's an amazing product, this. It's water resistant, so you can swim in the sea with it, swim in the pool. So we're going to take a small amount, about, well, teardrop size, onto the, uh, the brush. You just buff it onto the ends, and then literally just on the apples of the cheeks. So just with your fingertips, you can just pop some on. Gives that nice sort of bee stung look. I'm then going to just pop a little bit of our Vacuna eye tint. So I'm just going to apply a small amount of this one. Vacuna, the, the particular color that I'm using, is extremely sheer. So you can take it all over the eyelid, on your fingertips, over the eyelid, right onto the brow bone as well. It has a little bit of a sheen to it as well, so it gives a very nice, refreshed look. It really opens up the eye area. And you just pat it on. The second product I'm going to put on the lid is the Brazilian bronzing sheen. It's cream-based. This will help the, uh, the Brazilian bronzing sheen to hold on for a lot longer, because on its own, it, it would probably crease. Just take a small amount, just apply it to the eyelid. The Brazilian bronzing sheen is a multitasking product. The thing is, because of its tint, if you have very, very fair skin, the sort of sister product to it is the Bird of Paradise. And that has a slight gold sort of tint to it, but it's a little more translucent. With Dorota, I'm just going to use it on the eyes. Uh, I'll probably use the, the Bird of Paradise, actually, just on the cheekbone, just to give her a nice luminous cheek. Great products to take away with you, like I said, if you're on holiday and you don't want to carry much makeup. The next product I'm going to use is our Ultimate Mascara. The Ultimate Mascara is water resistant, smudge proof, and it doesn't flake. With the Ultimate Mascara, it gives lengthening, it thickens, volumizes. Uh, it also sort of gives a nice dis even distribution around the lashes, so you don't get that clumpy sort of build up. Because we're going for a very natural look with the rotter, I'm only going to do the top lashes. For an evening look, we'll build up on the bottom once again. The next product I'm just going to finish off with a very natural look is Bellini Lip Gloss. Which is a nice peachy tone, actually, and you can use it over the top of watermelon beach tint. Just gives it a nice finish. Just if you want to, you know, spice the look up a little bit. So, you know, just layering with the, uh, with the products is great. And you can still keep a nice natural look, even though you're layering them all. It comes with a brush applicator, which is great. It's much better than the spongy ends, you know, that you generally have to roll off to get coverage over the lip. And there we go, a nice natural look. Dorota now has a really lovely natural look, great for daytime or, you know, if you're out on holiday and you're going out for dinner and you just want something really nice and natural to appear like you're not really wearing makeup, but, you know, you are, just very subtly. <laughs>